going to do a spring energy problem. In this problem, I've got like a human cannon here, and the person gets in it, and they pull this back, compressing this spring by three meters. And what we want to know is when the spring is released, this person is going to be pushed to here. And when they get to the end of the cannon, and they get shot out of the cannon, how fast are they going? Then what we'll do is we'll say, well, when the person is actually at this point in the cannon, part, uh, point B, how fast are they going? So we're going to use conservation of energy. With conservation of energy, we've got to decide what kind of energy are we dealing with. We're dealing with moving energy, so that's kinetic energy. Whenever I want to find out how fast something's going and we're dealing with energy, what we're really looking for is what is the kinetic energy. Once we have the kinetic energy, we can easily find out how fast we're going. Um, so we're dealing with kinetic energy and we're dealing with spring energy. Well, the formulas we have are the kinetic energy is one half mv squared and the elastic energy of the spring is one-half kx squared. So in this question, I'm given the mass of the person and the spring constant, 200 newtons per kilogram. So I want to find out how fast is this person going at A. So what we do is we say the total energy is equal to the kinetic plus the elastic. If I want to know how fast this person's going here, then I need to know the numbers that go in here. But in order to do that, I need to know well, what is the total anywhere in the system. So first, I have to find the total energy of this system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this point. When the spring is compressed, what is the total energy? Well, the total energy there is the kinetic. Well, the person is sitting there. They're about to be launched. They start at zero velocity, and they end up with a velocity out here. So their kinetic at that point is zero. At the beginning, their elastic energy is one-half kx squared. In this case, the spring has been compressed three meters. So I plug in the numbers. The total energy is zero plus one-half, 200. And what's the compression? Three meters, three squared. The total energy is 900 joules. Once I know the total energy, that's very powerful. It means I can find out things anywhere in the system. So let's look at A. At A, I know that I've got different types of energy, and I'm going to write down my formula. The total energy, well, in this whole system, I'm dealing with the kinetic energy and the elastic energy. I know what the total is. It's 900 joules. The kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, and the elastic energy is at this point, because the spring is no longer compressed, that's where the spring sits when it's at rest, this is zero. So I plug in my numbers, 900 equals 1 half, and my mass is 60 v squared. I get the velocity, and it's 5.5 meters per second, and we should say forward. So I now have the velocity at A. That was easy because the elastic energy at that point was zero, so it kind of made the numbers a little bit better to work with. Let's try at B. At B, I have the same formula. At B, I'm still dealing with elastic energy and kinetic energy, so my total energy is made up of those two, kinetic plus elastic. I know what the total is, it never changes. The total here is 900 joules, the total here is 900 joules, and the total here is 900 joules. The kinetic is 1 half mv squared, and in this case, I still have some elastic energy at this point. When this person is at B, they're starting, to, they're starting to move, they're already moving a bit, and I still have some elastic energy. And this half kx squared, the x is how much the spring has been compressed, and in this case, it's 2 meters. So I plug in my numbers. 900 equals 1 half 60 v squared, v is what I'm looking for, plus 1 half 200 times x squared is 2 squared. I solve and I get the velocity there is 4.1 meters per second forward. If you watch the videos on uh, the roller coasters, you'll find it's a very similar sort of thing. In a roller coaster, you've got kinetic energy and gravitational, so wherever you are on the roller coaster, 
you add up the kinetic and the gravity, and you get the total. Where did you find the total? Usually at the beginning. And in this problem, we had an easy place to find the total. We were able to find the total before the thing started moving. Once we had that, we can analyze any point along the way. The next video, instead of having someone pushed out this way, we're going to take the spring, tip it up on its side, and put an object on it, compress it, and see how high it goes.